This is the Avaya Podcast Network. APN. Technology, news, and information. All in one place. This is the E911 Talk Podcast, episode 104. Recorded Friday, September 7th, 2012. Welcome to this edition of E911 Talk with your host, Mark Fletcher, Pilot Line Manager for Emergency Services at Avaya. Now, here's Fletch. With the technology that we use every single day increasing on a daily basis, it seems, the management of that technology in crisis becomes very critical. Today, we're talking to Clinton McDaniel, who's the business development leader for emergency services at Avaya, and we're going to talk about crisis management in today's multimedia world. Thanks for joining us today, Clinton. So as technology moves forward and in everybody's hands, it's going to change the way how we communicate with public safety when we have a crisis, and it's going to change the way that public safety can communicate with us. Absolutely. But what we're seeing is that the cameras that are on just about every device that everyone has can be used by people during a crisis to record information. And that's starting to raise questions about, well, how can we use this information? How can we get it? And how can that picture or that video actually get from the citizen's cell phone to an emergency operations center? I mean, situational awareness the, the legacy model is to take situational awareness from responder. What I find interesting is that we'll send a responder to a site to look at something, you know, to, to help triage it and get information back into the EOC using point-to-point voice, even though that, that responder probably has in his pocket or in, you know, in the car a, a cell phone with a camera. You know, the, the challenge has not been having a camera. The challenge is, well, what do you do with the information from the camera? Who do you send it to? So, I mean, the, the, the ability to capture visual information is not the problem. And with that, we've taken a look at the concept of crisis management, the SOPs associated with crisis management. And we've, we've looked at some insertion points of this technology. And, you know, the reality is lots of technology can be very relevant to the emergency operations center in fairly simple fashion. And it's not just about getting information into the EOC or the 911 center. It's about crisis management and getting information back out to the constituents. A- absolutely. You know, the, the devices, particularly smartphones, but, but you know, to some degree, computers and, and tablets and, and whatnot, the, the devices are capable of receiving multimedia communication, whether that's live streaming or whether that's, you know, sending a picture, et cetera. So, you know, I live in St. Louis, so of course, we're a little tornado sensitive around here. You know, it, it's, it's possible for local authorities to send me a map and that map I, I can get anywhere. And if I'm, you know, if I look at the map and say, oh, there's, you know, a, a red, yellow and green zone on this map and I'm in the red zone, you know, that's, that's useful information for a citizen. Absolutely. Last week, I was at the Kentucky Emergency Services Conference in Louisville. And one thing that came out, because we were talking about adva- you know, adva- the Avaya notification solution, what really came to my mind was the intelligent notification of outbound calls. If I can ask for a response on the first device that I reach you on, that's two extra phone calls I don't have to make. That's a substantial elimination in the amount of notifications I have to make. You make some good points, but what I find interesting is while notification is a very commonly available capability, they're using them for like one use case. The reality is, is that when coupled with other tool sets can be used for other use cases. When a crisis hits, sometimes you can predict that there could be a crisis and you can have teams assemble beforehand. You know, there's a storm moving through or there's there's a blizzard coming in. Many notification solutions also have the ability to assist with the assembly of the response and other tools like this video tool that we're using or a conference bridge that's that's you know collaborative that's not just voice able to do desktop sharing and whatnot those can be used in conjunction with the notification systems that with you know one click i find myself on my mobile device or on my computer in my home office seeing everything that's on the screen in the in the aoc I can, I'm talking to the EOC, maybe it's a video conversation, etc. So the assembly of a, of, of a war room or a virtual war room is another use for notification. 
Absolutely. And with uh, September being the National Preparedness Month, quite timely uh, topic for today. So we'll do that. We'll continue this another week, and we'll we'll dive into some specific use cases and uh, maybe even show some of the technology. Excellent. I look forward to it. Thanks very much, Clinton. Do appreciate it. You've been listening to the E911 Talk Podcast with your host, Mark Fletcher, Product Line Manager for Emergency Services at Avaya. E911 Talk is a weekly podcast available on sites like this, as well as iTunes, and is available free of charge. If you have any comments or questions, you can email Fletch at FletcherM at Avaya.com. That's Fletcher, the letter M, at Avaya.com. Be sure to listen in next week for more informative topics on E911. 911, the line is recorded. What is the exact location of your emergency? This is the Avaya Podcast Network, APN.